Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. I thought it'd be fun to learn a little bit more about light microscopy. So we came all the way back to Wixom, Michigan to talk to Shannon so she could tell us about it. Let's go talk to her. Shannon. Jay. Thanks for uh, your time and kind no of problem. letting me, uh, explaining to us and having us understand the principles of light microscopy. Sure. Um, we're looking at cool stuff. I love yeah. looking at it, but I really don't know what we're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Can you help us understand? Sure. So these are the some of the original microscopes that Carl Zeiss made in wow. his lab in Germany. Um, so originally when microscopes were first developed, they used um, the light of a candle and a mirror to illuminate your sample. And then okay. people would draw on a piece of paper what they were seeing in the eyepiece. So wow, we've, that sounds like a manual process. <laughs> yes, we've come a long way since then. Yeah, we've yeah. got lots of new technology, both for making an image as well as illuminating our sample. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So really what we're looking at are novel concepts of this initial concept of taking the light from a candle, using a mirror to focus it yep. onto a sample. Onto a sample and then using a lens to magnify it so and we then, can see small structures. And then look, and then the different designs kind of evolved to get us more magnification, but we still had to look at it Draw. And draw so you had it. to be an artist, you had to be... Yes, you had to be an artist. And eventually we moved into doing things like projecting that image using another mirror so we could trace it with tracing paper. Then we would move into Polaroids. You're familiar with Polaroids. Right, we would use right. the Polaroid to capture the image and CRTs like the old televisions to capture screen grabs. Wow. And we've really come a long way with our cameras. But I think a lot of... So the, I, I'm, I'm hearing the tracking of evolution of the camera side. Um, but then a lot of things, right, have to, yes. uh, uh, have to evolve as we move Correct. from here, right? Yep. So just getting better lighting, better cameras, we can see more with even the same lenses. Wow. So. Wow. Okay. So um, can we have a look at the different uh, ways uh, that, the, that this has evolved? Sure. Perfect. Let's come into the lab. Okay. So, Shannon, here we are. Yes. We've come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of changes. Um, First, you can see we have LEDs mm -hmm. to illuminate things instead of candles. Okay, why did we why did we do that? So this is equivalent to about 10,000 lumens, which is about 800 candles. Wow. So more light means better contrast, better mm -hmm. images. We can see more even with the same lens. Sure, sure. So you really have to, I guess it's safer too, right? It's safer too. <laughs> 800 candles. Yes, that's a lot of candles. So we've also added cameras so we don't have uh -huh. to be an artist anymore. Great, great. So you can really see the evolution of just the really automating yes. that, right? And then, yeah, I certainly would not be able to do it old school because I'm a horrible artist. So you right. take that out of yes. uh, the need uh, to be a great artist uh, when you run a, a microscope. Yeah. So you can quickly capture images. You can take measurements, um, mark wow. off the image. You can do all sorts of things. In the all software. because we put a, a, a camera there. Yes. Can we see this run? Sure. I heard that you and Robert were having some fun with chips. <laughs> he enjoyed so the thought, hot sauce. <laughs> I thought we could maybe take a look at a chip. Let's do it. Wow, you can really so get in there. So here you can see our, our chip. And this is actually the lowest magnification that we have. OK. Um, but one of our challenges we still have is as we move maybe up to the side of the chip, you yeah. can see we're not in focus anymore. Absolutely. I You know, I'm really glad you're running this because I'm horrible at uh, uh, Yep, we at would have to things. adjust our focus to get the top in focus and then now our bottom's not in focus. Wow, yeah. So we still have some challenges. You even see this with your camera. Sure, so sure. So it's the same same principle. Yep, yep, but it, it, with my camera, I like that sometimes, sometimes, but I'm guess when you measure Not great for this. Not so awesome. Do we have workarounds for sure. this? We've we've come up with a lot of ways to address this. One way mm -hmm. um, is called an extended depth of field. So we take okay. an image at multiple planes, and then we can stitch that together oh. and make one image that's all in focus. And you have like a, yeah, a stack. A stack, yeah. a stack of images. It sounds like it takes some time it though, does right? It takes some time. So we've actually come up with a new technology as well where we can do this live and see an entire field of view up to 69 millimeters in focus live. Wow, wow. Can we see that? Sure, I'm gonna show you the Visioner. And here we are at the Visioner 1. Wow. So I just brought our tortilla chip over so that we can look at it here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's all in focus and I'm just gonna move this chip around and you can see that even those edges stay in focus wow, yeah. all the way to the bottom of the chip. 
That is crazy and definitely a much easier experience from what we had to do over there. Uh, Shannon, how do we do this? Well, it's done with our MALS technology, which mm -hmm. is a micro array of lenses that keeps um, taking images at different levels of focus and combines them all in real time. Wow, wow. So we really kind of replaced, and I'm, I'm really simple, <laughs> dimming it yeah. down for me. We're really taking one lensing system and replacing it with a huge array of them. Correct. And yeah. that allows us to do live in focus lot. imaging. We can even see the topography of the chip live so we have a two and a half d view where we can see up the edges of the chip oh that's crazy as we move around so we can measure the height in real time yeah oh wow you can even measure measure in 3d uh i, I mean this is really cool i don't know why a chip manufacturer might want to see this they actually do <laughs> they do how do you think they get the powder to stick to the doritos let's go <laughs> or the hot sauce right or the hot sauce <laughs> cool I'm sure there might be other applications sure. for something like that as yeah. well. I can show you another technology that uses it. This is a hip cup. So they would use this to inspect the, in looking for burrs in the, in the bore of the hip cup here. Oh, wow. We can inspect that all live and in real time. And then right away, again, everything in focus at, at all depths. And, it, and we can resolve down to even see some of the manufacturing. Oh, wow. So it makes their inspection process a lot faster. Wow. And I didn't change anything. I just took the chip off and put this on. Wow, that is even something as simple that I could probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shannon, I really appreciate your time and taking me through uh, kind of the evolution of the light microscope and what we do from mirrors and uh, candles all the way down to this really amazing experience. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it, yeah. And for you out there, hope you also enjoyed our tour of light microscopy. Hope you continue to stay safe and stay healthy. And we'll see you next time.